In this lesson, I want to organize employees in the portal on the company's layout by sorting it. I want all the dimmed out or inactive or unemployed by this company employees to move down to the bottom of the portal. Now there is a situation here where this one already is at the bottom. It's just because he happens to be there. So I'm going to activate him. Then go to Steve Wozniak and inactivate him. That should show us the results. I want Steve to be at the bottom and Tim to be above him. And if I went and did Steve Jobs and inactivated him, well then he should float down to the bottom and Tim should be the only one at the top. Very simple, very straightforward. It just helps you to understand at a glance and see the employees that are available at that company. And all the ones that are not available at that company simply just kind of float down or sink down to the bottom. So there are actually two ways to sort a portal. One is in layout mode. If you go to layout mode here and double click on the portal or you can click on it and come into I hardly ever do it this way. I always double click on it. Uh, let's see. Format portal setup. There it is. Took me a while. I always double click on it. And you can sort the portal and you can choose what fields you want to sort by. Easy enough, right? Basically the same interface in Manage Database. So if you go into the relationships between these two, the starting point and the ending point, right? Because we have companies as the starting point, the layout. And then the ending point is employees. So between these two, if I double click on that equal sign, if I'm underneath employees because I want to sort the employees, I can choose sort records here. And it's basically the same interface. So which one should you do? Well, the portal version, the one that's on the layout, is layout level. Meaning that every portal that refers to employees is going to be need to be set up to be sorted. Now this may work out great for you because you may want that employees portal to be over here and sorted one way and over here sorted a different way. It gives you flexibility. But if you always want the employees sorted in the same way no matter where you put the portal, you want to put it at this level, at the schema level in Managed Database because it allows you to not do or prevent you from having to do more work. It's as simple as that. So it, it all depends. You've got to think about what you're doing. Know the two ways to do it. Schema level, which is going to be everywhere where you use that relationship attached to a portal. Even work on a related field at that point. Don't have to even have it at a portal. And you, In fact, any way you use that relationship, if you sort it right here in this dialog, it's going to sort it. And it's, it can give you some interesting results that are different than setting up a portal to sort. But in this case, I really want the portal to be sorted because I don't want it always, the employees always to be in sorted order. So I'm going to come in here and do it at a layout level here, even though I might have to do it again, possibly, but it'll give me that flexibility. So we'll double click on that portal, specify the sorting here. First thing we want to do is sort by active, and then we're going to throw in last name and then first name. And I may, I, I think there's something wrong crossed on my brain. I can never figure out. I always choose the wrong way to do it, whether it's ascending or descending. So I just simply click OK, go look at it. Is it the right way? No, it's not. Just takes me a couple extra seconds. You may be better at this than I am. I'm not, but now I have to change to descending, and that should solve the problem. There you go. So you can see how they're sorted all the way to the bottom. Makes it much easier. In fact, if we come in here and choose Steve Wozniak, make him active again, and close this, he'll sort up to the top. And we just need to make sure it was refreshed. I was clicked into the portal row, so I had to click out of it. And once it refreshes, he goes back up to the top, and then in alphabetical order. So this can really help you to identify which employees at a glance are the ones that you want. First of all, they're dimmed if they're not employed, and they're also sorted to the bottom. 